Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, I will be bringing you guys another Washington football team 2021 NFL mock draft. Today's mock draft will be four rounds, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the end to see who I if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So, let's get right into the video. Okay, so let's start off with our first round pick. And of course, the Washington football team is drafting at 19 in the first round. And we do have a couple needs on offense, a couple needs on defense. Obviously, on offense, we could use some help at the wide receiver position, you know, besides Terry McLaurin, we really don't have a great separator. Could go Kadarius Tony here, Rashad Bateman, um, some other guys as well. Maybe Elijah Moore, I think it's a little too early for him. But there's a bunch of receiver prospects that are intriguing here at 19. Also on offense, you know, we could sure up the left tackle position in this draft, you know, I really like Sadiq Charles. It just really depends for this draft pick if they like Sadiq Charles at guard better or if they like him at tackle better. Because if they like him better at guard, then I do think drafting a tackle in the first or second round could be a good idea. And right here, the best player available is Christian Derisov from Virginia Tech. And I think I'm going to end up taking him here. And here's why. Obviously, I do think wide receiver is a bigger need than left tackle. But I really, really like Christian Derrissa. And the thing is, you can find a bunch of really good, you know, starting receivers and even some star receivers in the late rounds or even after the first round. I mean, you got DK Metcalf, AJ Brown in the second round, obviously Terry McLaurin in the third round. I believe Stefan Diggs was a fifth round pick. Uh, Tyree Kill was a late round pick as well. Antonio Brown, late round pick. So you can get these late round receivers that are very, very productive. It's pretty hard to find elite level tackles or very good tackles in the later rounds. And I really, really like Christian Derrissaw. He has some elite tackle traits and that's what you really want. You want traits uh, from a player that you can help develop and Derisaw is far from a finished product. And of course, you could also go linebacker with this pick. I really like Jeremiah Wuso koromo I've mocked him to Washington for a while now, but he was not available in this mock draft. Uh, I like Nick Bolton and also Zaven Collins from Tulsa, but I don't think drafting them at 19 is necessarily the best spot. You guys can read some of, you know, Derrissaw's traits. You know, he started as a true freshman, got the opportunity to start and, you know, kept on improving from there. And that's what you want to see from a player. And he's going to continue to do that in the NFL. Okay, so now we are in the second round, and we have a lot of different options right here. You know, could go corner, could go linebacker, could go safety, could go wide receiver, maybe even tight end. There's a lot of different options right here, but you guys see the best player available. That's where I'm going to go again, and I really think this is a perfect fit with the Washington football team, Richie Grant from UCF. You know, he's a free safety, and that is a safety position we do need. He would fit here perfectly. Had a really, really good senior bowl this year. Um, weighs in about, you know, close to 200 pounds. Is about six foot. You know, this year has 72 tackles, 49 solo tackles, five pass deflections, a sack, two forced fumbles, you know, he's an absolute beast, had a real, like I said, a really good senior bowl. I'm not really sure if he's going to be available here. I He might, though. He's going to be probably in that early second to late second range. So he could be available here, and I would definitely go after him because he is a really, really good safety, and he's going to be able to translate to the next level. Good ball hawk. I would really, really like him here in Washington. In 2018, he had a huge year, about six interceptions. So he's an absolute beast. And, you know, him paired back there with Cameron Curl um, and maybe Landon Collins in a different role. That would be a perfect scenario for us in Washington. So now on to round three. OK, so now with our first third round pick and here, this would be an obvious choice. Jabril Cox, 
you know, played this past season at LSU, but he is definitely not going to be available at this spot. He's probably going to be a second round pick, of course. If he was available here, I would definitely take him, but there is no way he's available here. So I want to keep it at least somewhat realistic. One guy I really really like is Amari Rogers who played at Clemson. If you just I urge you guys look up his, you know, senior bowl tape, his one-on-ones. He is such a good separator, such a he did such a good job in the 1v1s. Really good route runner, solid after the catch and he's a perfect slot receiver and would would really complement Terry McLaurin well. You know, he's about 5'10", 210 pounds. This past year at Clemson, you know, 77 catches, 1,020 yards, 13.2 yards per catch, 7 touchdowns, was an absolute beast um, and would be a really good fit here in Washington. A little bit of a, you know, rushing threat as well. Only two rushes, but he had 50 yards on those rushes, you know, tacking on another touchdown. So, you know, he's a little bit of a threat there as well. And I think he would really fit our system. And getting this guy, you know, a starting slot receiver who is going to produce at a very high level in the third round is a good pick, in my opinion. I would take this all day. And I think, you know, he would come in day one and be a starter and be a really good receiver for a very long time. And I would definitely take that, especially in the third round. I think that's where he's going to get drafted in that range and I would definitely definitely take him okay so now you know our second third round pick of the draft and you know you could go tight end here you could go wide receiver here again there's a lot of different options right here um Brevin Jordan's available I really like him as a tight end right him behind Logan Thomas for a year and see how everything stands and maybe he can be your tight end of the future if we you know let Logan Thomas go after this year I hope we keep Logan Thomas but if we don't end up keeping him it will it would be good to have someone you know who's already developed behind him Hunter Long and Tommy Tremble are other options too and Trey McKitty from Georgia you know they have him ranked super low here they have an up Dated their rankings in a while, but he might, you know, be maybe not a third round draft pick, but he could definitely, you know, be up there like a fourth round pick. So let's go ahead and take Brevin Jordan. I usually take him. We'll try to switch it up a little bit next time. In 2020, had about 570, 76 yards, seven touchdowns, 15.2 yards per catch. He's about six foot three, 245 pounds. Did miss some games this year, so that's why his numbers aren't, you know, super high, but he's still a really, really good option. And, you know, like I said, if you can develop him behind Logan Thomas for a year or so, you know, he can develop into a tight end one, and getting him in the late third round is a really, really good value pick, in my opinion. And yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, so now with our final pick of the mock draft, and I really want to go corner here and the best two players available at the cornerback position Keith Taylor from Washington and Sean Wade from Ohio State Keith Taylor probably going to get drafted a little bit higher than here so I probably don't want to take him but Sean Wade you know I think it's you know might be a good idea to take a flyer on him he has a lot of potential he had a little bit of a down year at Ohio State this past season you know if he would have declared after the 2019 season you know he, he was, you know, eligible to do so since he was a junior. He could have probably been a first, probably a second round pick. And this year he's going to be definitely later than that. Did not help himself coming back to school. Definitely didn't do too great in the national championship game and the playoff game. Obviously playing against very good competition, but you're going to be doing that in the NFL as well. But he has some solid traits. And if you can develop him, I think it would be a really, really good pick in the fourth round, a lot of people have him, you know, third to fifth round. So he's a big name. And I think if we can, you know, get those traits and translate them, I think it'll help us out a bunch. And, you know, he could end up, he has the talent to be a number one cornerback on a team this past season, had about two interceptions, returned one for a touchdown, three pass deflections. So, And, you know, of course, he's playing against really good competition. So I think this would be a solid pickup right here. And if you look at our final, you know, our draft picks, Christian Derrissaw, Richie Grant, Amari Rogers, 
Brevin Jordan and Sean Wade. So let me know what you guys think about these different, you know, draft picks. Do you guys agree with them? Do you guys disagree? Let me know what you guys would do differently. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Hit that like button and peace.